I feel like I've been held in captivity for the last seven days and I finally have been released. Today the weather is cool enough to where I could actually wear a sweater. It's a little wet, but it's not raining and it won't be raining for the next couple of days. So I am so cheerful, so relieved, and immediately at the skate park because I want to get a session in right away. And my main goal for the session, the box that you are lying on right now, is to do a switch nose manual fakey triple out on this thing because I feel like it's a trick I should have well and I do not. So today I do will have that soon. <laughs> So admittingly, I got really frustrated. I kept getting super close and then landing primo, so I felt like daggers were attacking my feet almost every other try. And then I literally felt like I couldn't walk anymore, so I laid on the ledge as a mom was walking by and she gave me a pep talk. Uh-oh, you okay? You need okay. some water? I'm okay, thank you. Oh, okay. I appreciate it. Are you drinking some water? I have not yet because I'm mad at myself and I'm torturing myself. No, that's not good. Let's get a time confirmation. I started trying the trick around 8.30 a.m. It is now 10.55, so 11 a.m. That took two and a half hours. Horrible transition. I'm in a coffee shop now. That's me. You actually owe 48 minutes. Okay. I got rhythm. I got rhythm. I got rhythm. I had my limit with being inside. I wanted to go outside, but it was like the small sitting area and there were already a ton of people out there because, yo, everybody's trying to take advantage of this, but I just want to explore and see the most beautiful possible view I can because of how pretty today is. And this is what I found through my research. I'm gonna say best view in Cincinnati, pretty accurate. What do you think would happen if I dropped in on that thing right there? Dropped in, shot out, maybe landed on that building? I don't know, something like that. You're literally hanging off like a million stories. Thanks again. I appreciate it like crazy. <laughs> Random dude skating shredding, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Right on time. Dude, hell yeah. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse? Yeah. Do you live here? Uh, nah. Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, I, was like, I, was like, I feel like I would see you. Uh, you oh, that? yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> Dude, that never happens in Cincinnati. Voice cracks happen for me all the time, though. Hey, wait! Yo, I just came home. It's so beautiful outside. I might as well just chill on my balcony, sit inside my room, work a little bit, leave the door open, come out when I want to. It's just such a peaceful, good, relaxing day that I'm soaking it in as much as possible. I like this. Water bottle flipping. I think it's something that we've all spent some time doing in our lives. But recently, it seems like it's become pretty dang popular. Like, it's back with a vengeance. And honestly, I couldn't be more stoked. I love doing it. I think it's super fun. And not to brag, but your boy has really good muscle memory to the point of fault sometimes. When I'm skating and I mess up on a trick, I will continuously mess up on the trick the same way over and over. But for this, it kind of works out awesomely because my wrist looks the same way and I've noticed that it's not super hard. So today, I'm gonna try to do some challenges and kind of just test my limits. Basically, I just want to do that four bottles at once thing that the kid did. Four bottles. And I feel like it wouldn't be that bad, so I'm gonna take steps leading up to that. Pretty easy, but maybe it's just a completely different ball game once I combine it. Ooh, yeah, that's hard. That 
literally was like fifth try. We gotta step it up, that was kinda easy. Uh, I'm gonna try to do everything I just did blindfolded. <laughs> I just showed up to Ludlow Skate Park. I told you once the weather got better, I'd be skating a ton more. So I'm gonna try to get a session in, even though I'm sore from earlier. But I don't know, I'll figure out something. Maybe even just some warm up tricks or something. I just wanna cruise, cause it's so nice. That session was pretty epic. As you can tell at the beginning, I did pretty much warm up tricks just because my legs are so tired, but it was super fun being experimental and just having the equipment in my car to be able to do some weird tricks like that, even though the board side, terrifying across the whole rail. The first couple times I jumped on it, I thought I was gonna die. It was so slick just because there was no weight holding down the board, and for some reason that made it feel slipperier to me. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna move on. First of all, let me introduce you to my biggest vice. That is pretty horrible. I should probably end this immediately because my eyes are bloodshot red because this is usually post vlog face right now. This is when I'm working on my computer, just completely winding down and not even thinking about anything really, maybe just editing, uh, but I haven't even edited this video at all because I'm so tired and I have to plan for the next seven days because I'm going out of town to California in a couple of days, but before that I'm going out of town to a different city. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, so if I haven't, I'm just not gonna mention it, but uh, you should be pretty stoked on seeing what is going to come. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much trouble talking because I can't think, so thank you guys for liking these videos and for subscribing. Uh, if you watch these videos consistently and don't subscribe, dude, it would mean a ton if you did. It would be awesome. Um, and if you don't like seeing my face consistently pop up, just unsubscribe, unsubscribe, that's right. So uh, thank you for that. And also, I'm just saying things that I feel like not a lot of YouTubers say, but if you like these videos, it pushes out our content. You know, like YouTube sees that and they push out our content. Uh, and that also depends on the watch time, but also, I think a lot of people are a little shady on the facts because they think that we're just like really trying to make a lot of money on YouTube and that's not the thing at all for me. I've had a business way before YouTube and I've had like automated money coming in that has made me just happy enough. I just want a bigger channel because I want to be in a position to actually help and do things in this world and I know that having people who are excited about what you do and people who back what you do is key, or at least makes it a lot easier to do those things. Because if I have an idea, I can put it out in the world and see what people have to say, and then if people wanna be back that idea, then something great can happen. And I, I'm in a position now where I do have a lot of support, uh, and I'm constantly trying to grow that because I want to do cool things. I wanna help out a lot of people who need it, and I wanna be in a position to uh, make real changes in this world. So, that's it. So thanks a lot, and good night. Mm -hmm.